Hi, this is a short video with some stretches for your upper body, arms, shoulders, chest and upper back. So great for a post-workout video, but also if you've been at your computer or driving and got a bit tense, you could use all of these just as well. The first one is a lovely arm and chest stretch and we're going to use the wall. So I'm just showing you that's the shape. You get right up close to the wall. You can see where my hand is in the mirror. It's not so high. It's definitely not as high as my shoulder. And the leg that's nearest the wall goes forward. The other leg goes slightly back, just like a step. And then you nudge in as close to the wall as you can and turn your chest away from the wall. Press your hand onto the wall like you're doing downward dog and roll your upper arm out. You spend as long as you can then, you could do it a couple of times, it definitely gets easier over time. I'll show you the other way. So you can see, you can try, experiment with different angles of your arm. And then really spread your fingers, press them onto the wall, lift the inner arm, bring the outer arm down so you roll the upper arm out, and then turn your chest. If you have an architrave, then you could use that to hold on to with your fingers and that gives a nice anchor for the, the um, stretch as well. The next one we're going to move and open both arms and the chest at the same time and you'll need a chair for this. Now you have to experiment with the height of your chair. You see this chair is a bit high for me sitting on the floor. I'm just going to bring the hands back and you can see I'm a bit scrouched. My shoulders are a bit high and up to my ears. So I'm going to take a bolster, a cushion or yoga blocks would be fine. You have to experiment and find a height for your hands and your bottom so that your chest feels easily elevated. And then you bring both hands back, press them down. Again, roll your upper arms out and lift your chest. And it may give you a strong stretch, but it should feel comfortable and it should feel spacious. Breathe normally here. Just being aware of the sensations in your body. If you've got a bendy lower back, just notice with any of these chest openers that you're not hyperextending your lumbar like this, sticking your front ribs out and sticking your bottom the other way out. So to, to um, counter that, you just let the lower ribs soften and keep a stability in the lower abdomen. Okay, we don't need the bolster anymore, but we're going to keep hold of the chair. If your chair is a bit wobbly or your floor is a bit slippery, put your chair against the wall so it doesn't move. Then you need to bring your hands onto the seat of the chair, turned away from one another, so that your arms rotate it out. And then step back, so this is a high downward dog. Reach your hips back. Your heels should be further back than your hips. If your hamstrings are tight, you could try bending one leg at a time. Or if you want to get more into the upper back, it's really nice to have a little wiggle and bend both knees so your armpits move closer to the floor. And then try and keep that opening in the chest as you straighten your legs again. And then breathe in and walk in so that your feet are under your hips Look forward, roll your arms out, lift the front of your body and then come all the way up. Finally, we're going to do Bhavajasana in the chair, which is a really simple chair twist. And you'll sit with the back of your chair on your right and your feet on the floor and parallel. Again, watch that bendy lower back if you need to, just keep it stable. Have your left hand facing you, your right hand facing away from you. Breathe in and lift your chest. As you breathe out, pull your left hand towards you, press your right hand away from you and turn to the right. Breathe in, lift the chest again. As you breathe out, you can turn and look over your right shoulder to stretch the left side of your neck. Breathe in and out here a few times and then try turning the other way. If one side of your neck's very stiff and it's not comfortable to turn towards it, then don't. 
and you might even find your necks more comfortable in a neutral position. Keep your chest lifted, keep your spine lifted as you breathe out and release. And then turn the other way. So now we're turning to the left, the right hand's facing you, the left hand's pressing away from you. Feet parallel on the floor. Breathe in, feel your spine lift. Breathe out and turn to the left. Again, try facing both ways of your neck. and choose the one that feels best for you. Breathe normally here. Every now and again you could intensify the pushing and pulling with your hands. A slightly longer exhalation to turn a little deeper. And then keep your spine, your chest lifted as you release. We'll do a short relaxation. Well, actually, you stay as long as you like. Do a long relaxation if you've got time. But with the chair, really nice way to relax. So just lie down on the floor. Bring your calves onto the seat of the chair. If your shoulders are tight, you might need a blanket or a cushion under your head. Wiggle your shoulders down. Let your arms relax. Let your legs relax. Close your eyes. Set a timer if you've got a time constraint. Let your breathing relax. Feel the back of your head, shoulder blades, lower back and pelvis against the floor. And allow your whole self to relax completely. If you can stay longer, then do. Otherwise, bring your knees into your chest. Slowly roll onto your side. Take a moment there and then use your hands to help you come up. Thank you.